Hello. Hello, join me on this lovely Friday. Got a very busy day today, got to go and train now. All the dog, bit of work. We've got our BBC brunch, Bridgman, Brightman Cycles lunch at Norfolk at three till five. Then me and Joe are heading to the O2 for Pete Tong, IB for classics. Josh can't make it because he's going print works tomorrow. Mmm, mojito. TMC doing vlogmas, potentially the best Christmas present ever. Bring it the rare panties. Right, now we are indeed back vlog book and I thought this would be a nice chance for you to kind of see the methodology and my thinking as to how I program. So today we have Paul, back and biceps a little bit of rear delt. So what I can do as I fill out my log book is try and like educate you as to how I set up my pull session. So I always start with some form of lap pull down or pull over. As we fatigue the back throughout the session, the ability to get that lat short is going to be more difficult. So you wouldn't go in and do like a, I don't know, a, a bent over barbell row, a dumbbell row, a T-bar row, and then finish with lat. You could, don't get me wrong, it's not going to like inhibit you from getting there, but to get that lat as short as possible, it's best to fire up at the beginning of the session. So you can utilize like a dumbbell pullover if you've not got much kit. If you've got a cable stack, you could do like a straight arm pull down or an EZ bar pull down. We've got a pullover machine at Crayford. So I'll open up my back exercises, my back days with two sets of lat pullover and then I'll go into a lat pull down. Usually the underhand grip, the hammer, or again, if you're limited for kit and we want to kind of ensure that wrist mobility and flexibility is okay, then we can loop the D handles around the lat pull down bar and do like a D handle lat pull down. So the first four sets are to, to get those lats nice and short. Then what I'll do is I'll go into a row. Today I'm going to program three sets of pendle rows. I've kept that exercise in from when I was doing that kind of, that fairly intense training block of like power building power lifting and I loved it I think that the pendle rows are fantastic good exercise not only for the posterior but also for like movements when uh, to, to kind of cue you for bracing when you do any like RDL movements if, you, if you've got them programmed on a leg day so I'll do that so we've got three four five six seven sets of back and then I'll go on to either like a, a single arm dumbbell row or a single arm hammer plate loaded row for example We'll do two sets of that and then we'll go into some rear delt work and then for biceps we'll go for like eight sets so i'll do two exercises with three sets and then we'll do like a, a bicep finisher so usually for my biceps i like to ensure that one of the exercises is when we can get the bicep in the most lengthened position so we allow those arms to drop back you can either do that on like, like a close cable stack and move out or set the bench on an incline let those arms drop back and then go into a curl like that and then i'll go like a, a movement with shoulder flexion so we've got loads of kit at Crayford whereby you know we can we can get into that so it's not necessarily a case of me setting it up or again if you've if you've not got that ability at your gym then cable in the highest position pull it down either your knee or like even the bench and go as so but keeping those those arms above and then what we what I tend to do is like a little bicep finish so like a You've seen them on my Instagram, I put one up the other day, but like an EZ bar curl and then super sit with like a hammer curl, for example. So that'll be, that's like my methodology behind like a pull session. Sorry, it's a bit, little bit rushed, but this is, this is something we'll be doing a lot more when we release flow and like giving an intricate detail and breakdown for people that want to kind of understand different, different workouts. Okay. I'm going to train. Tonight's clobber, we've got the Parker from Zara, Legend London, jeans are where uh, 34, 34 waist, and then we picked up this, feel, this is the vintage Fila Retro fleece zip up polo, it's very good, it's got the, got the Fila on the, on the back, it's, very, it's a very blue outfit, I've got a choice between two footwear, and I think the Prada is, is going to be too much blue, so it might just have to be the black Reese trainers. Very tricky this. I feel like there's too much blue with the with the Prada. Let me see it without the coat. With the coat. I'm going I'm going Reese. We arrive 
arrived a bit early, but everyone's in good spirits and we're excited. That was one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm 28 years old and I've seen a lot already. That was great, I highly recommend you go next year. They put up all pictures of like Port de Vista, Ushuaia, fucking DC-10. Fingers crossed travel is okay next year. And we can all go to Ibiza. Bing bong, fuck, Bing bong, fuck your life. <laughs> Ariana Grande, what's up mama? You see these dogs out front? Just know upstairs I'm going hard. You hear me? Hey, I'll be for. This is art this is artwork from Ian Salmon. It was downstairs, but we switched it up a little bit. There's only a hundred made and I've got number 28. It has it has all of the uh Carcock space, I'll be for rocks. It's a great it's a great piece of artwork. I think now I'm doing a lot of home renovations. I should do a home ham a house tour. How many people requested that on TikTok? Hey, that was great. First annual BBC little get together. That was very nice. Highly recommend you go to Novikov and take the full two hours and take yourself through a culinary journey. There's like three columns. I tend to start with like uh, edamame, a few small dishes and then a little bit of sushi and then sushi and dim sum and then like a, a, a main. So we've got like a sweet and sour chicken, a bit of rice. The tiramisu there, wow. Very good tiramisu. Okay, hope you enjoyed this episode of Vlogmas. Over the next couple of days, I want to try and do a, like my favorite books. Quite good as well, like for any gifts for Christmas. If anyone's like, oh, I don't know what to get my boyfriend or girlfriend, doing my favorite books. Also got to do like best mince pies. Like I'm gonna go, I'm basically gonna go like, actually this is a good chance. Where does the best mince pies? I want like about five. I'm thinking like M&S, Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Lidl, Tesco. Should be enough. I'm gonna do best Christmas sandwich as well. And I think that's about it really. And then we'll just start vlogging, try and get these vlogs out. It's tough work, not gonna lie. It's very tough, especially when you go out on a night out last night and you're like, shit. Don't know how Casey did it. Fair play to him. Anyway, have a fantastic Saturday. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Gunnar. Much love.